McLovins, I guess. Um, it is the month of love. It is February. Well, even birds need love, I guess. So, uh, here we go. St. Pigeon Nations Institute. Welcome to St. Pigeon Nations. Please enter your name. Confused woman. Confused lady is going to be the name. Because this game confuses the fuck out of me. Is confused lady okay? Yes. Hot toe full boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module. Allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when in first introduced. <clears throat> Display human portraits. Yes. Configuration saved. A school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. Already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say this school is known for one thing in particular. The school's Japan's no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports all come to St. Pigeon Nations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds and of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ryota. Usually, <laughs> usually, you'd have been ready for an hour by now. Confused. Overslept. Okay, this is what Ryuta looks like. I'm digging that. I, yeah. He's he's cute. He's dreamy. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryuta. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. Oh, well, makes sense. Uh, he can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. I think that's who I'm going for. Breakfast was a little too hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat. I can't relax without red meat inside me. Kaka! Living as a hunter gatherer gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryuta. Time for school now. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. I know this is fucking weird, but I, it's, it's hilarious. Jeepers. No good being late on the first day. And so Ryuta pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all the lost fun. What's gonna happen? Oh yeah, first term. Oh, fucking great. Look at all the birds. Back at it. I think we're in two, three. Ryuta and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Or death. That's, that's, I learned last night, that's a possibility. Oh, the teacher's here. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics and also some other things. And he fell asleep. Sir, wake up! It's homeroom. He sleeps with one eye, with his eyes open. Okay, there he is. He's kind of cute too. 
in a birdie anime kind of way. This quail is Nanaki teacher guy. He's famously seporific. He's a famously seporific math professor. There's words I cannot read. I've heard the rumors, but I didn't expect him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. Ah, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shiragani. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh, oh well. I guess that's that. Hey, hey, hey. That's not. That's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into collects and dissenters. Ugh. Well, then when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shiragani? Shiragani Labelle Sakuya. He's kind of cute too. Hehe. <laughs> it seems his fan tail is is Shiragani Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryuta and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Okay. Lunch already? Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me. I've had these books out from library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning a morning dove stands in the dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very, very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something for me? Duh. He looked away. Not really. Pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There was no one else here. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't want anything from you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return him already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> They were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? Dot dot dot. He silently returns his gaze to the book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm Lady Confused. <laughs> I love it. I love how the name fits. A sophomore. What about you? Your... Nagaki Fujishiro Nagaki Freshman He's cute too All these Strangely attractive Anime boys I'm Starting to question Myself here Fujishiro Nagaki Huh Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. Yeah, yeah, Jade, welcome to my world. I keep meeting depressed people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... You shouldn't have been instructed to approach me in school. 
Come on, Sakia. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... Okay, that's the sound of him walking away. I guess even if we're in the same school, now what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever popular trendsetter and ladies' man, Sakazagi Yua Yuya, is Sakuya's brother. I wonder what the story behind that is. They had horny parents, okay? Hey! Uh. You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakia's? Uh, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Uh. <laughs> no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all of you little ladies. But that there wasn't too cool. Well, look at him! He's another looker! For, like, his human side. This fantailed pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya. An upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Every birdie knows him. You're confused, right? How did you... I know everybody here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually. A, the genuine article in the flesh. Is he? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. I do. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twist. Probably a twisty business. Ding dong, ding dong. That's all for today, class. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryuta? You said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go see and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryuta always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary and make sure he's okay. Excuse me? No birdies here? There's no one sleeping behind the curtains? And the doctor isn't here either. My hunter gather and stakes feel no presence. There's no birdie here. Ryuta? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been here much before. Unlike Ryuta, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all sorts of kinds of drugs in here. Oh God, stay out of it. Say no to drugs. Ethyl pair, I have no idea what any of this shit is how it's pronounced. So what do these even do? Care to find out? Doctor. I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm? No, thank you. Shoe. Oh, well, mommy. Money. I'll wear mine. <laughs> My shoe. That's what I'm calling him. Shoe. This partridge, partridge is shoe, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person. 
and has a bad reputation among the student, spot, the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with whatever that word is, those words are, and even worse things. And I never even heard him come through the door, Ninja Doctor. You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh? Why didn't he come find me before coming home? going home? S -s Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. <laughs> ah, finally out of the den of evil. Ryota's already gone home? What do I do now? Oh! I never got around to joining a club last year. Again, like I said yesterday, doki doki all over again. Maybe I'll go take a look for some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. Drugs. I ran in middle school, and it's always funny to watch. It's always funny watching the birds hop around. I probably would like that too. I'd like to see the birds like, just like hop everywhere instead of run. I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Cuckoo! This is no pudding for a man! Coo! Okosan rejects it. It is a lie, a vicious falsification. He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. I like that, like, out of all the, so far, he's still a pigeon. He's still a bird. Like, he's an animated bird on the side. This is Okusan. He doesn't really look it, but he's supposed to be a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Coo! Akusan has suffered a deception most vile. A wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Coo! Akusan instructed that pudding be provided to new members. Coo! But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed. Dragged into the street by and shot by those he trusted most. It's squished and filthy. But the thing under his feet looks like normal pu store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Cuckoo! Spare the jests, young lady. Okazan used wing attack. It's super effective. That is still lame. Oh, God. I, ugh. Damn it. Pokemon! Okay. Coo! They'll rule the day they crossed Okazan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn, he will. Coo! Okazan was now trained to achieve true pudding. Farewell! And that's the sound of him jetting off. And he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with a track team? And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigington's. God damn, this game is a fucking strange game. But I...